What's up, Internet? A pleasant surprise from a couple of years ago was when we reviewed the Deepcool DQ750 MV2 PSU. That was way back in April 2021. We liked it so much that after that review, we started selling it in the shop. And you'll see in the warranty video that we did last year, we called that PSU flawless. Among all of the units that we sold, walang bumalik sa amin for any RMA issues. Fast forward to 2023 and Deepcool is diving even deeper into PSUs with their PX850G and PX1000G. I hope both these guys can live up to the quality of that DQ line. Both of these are ATX3 PSUs and when we think ATX3, we think PCIe 5. But ATX3 actually has a lot more changes and improvements aside from the 12V HPWR cable that we use to plug natively into the RTX 40 series cards. For high-end GPUs, some users have noticed that they require very, very short bursts of power. We're talking about 100 microseconds where suddenly the GPU needs double its usual capacity. And if it doesn't get that power right now, it will crash. And this just isn't on the higher end 40 series cards. It's also been noticed in the higher end 30 series cards. So the ATX3 spec ensures that the PSU is able to handle those sudden immediate power spikes when the GPU says, I need power right now. ATX3 allows for better power delivery, both in terms of consistency, because you can now send 600 watts through the PCIe 5 connectors, as well as in abruptness. Again, going back to handling the power needs from those spikes. To handle those spikes, these PSUs can deliver 1,800 watts. Again, just for that very limited microsecond time frame that the GPU needs it. That's just for the GPU, but in case the whole system needs power suddenly for whatever reason, both these PSUs can deliver double the power capacity to the entire system. Again, just for those microseconds that it needs it. So with the ATX3 standard, hopefully higher-end systems which do use those high-end GPUs and CPUs will be more stable as the PSUs are able to cope both with spikes and are also able to more efficiently send power to the system. ATX3 standard also introduces a new standard in terms of rating efficiency. We're all used to the AT plus standard, but with ATX3, we're also being introduced to the Cybernetic standard. And this is supposed to go alongside the AT plus rating. Both of them rate efficiency, but the Cybernetics rating tests more things. For example, it also tests noise level, and also it does more sampling. It does a larger survey of the PSU on different loads to determine the Cybernetics rating. So the Cybernetics rating is stricter. The tests are more comprehensive, as it were. And also Cybernetics tests PSUs at higher temperatures, which they feel is more in keeping with the reality of how these PSUs are used. Because in an interesting twist, one of these has a Cybernetics rating which is higher than its AT Plus rating. So because these are ATX3, both of them are PCIe 5, so they are compatible with the high-end NVIDIA GPUs straight out of the box. No more need for any messy adapters. Both of them use all Japanese capacitors, a usual sign of quality in a PSU. Both of them have fanless mode where you can toggle it on. The fan will only start spinning after it reaches a certain temperature so that you are able to preserve the lifespan of the fan of the PSU. They all have the usual protections in place over current, over voltage, under voltage, all of the usual protections that are quite common even in other brands PSUs. These guys also have those standard protections. And perhaps most importantly, both of these have a 10-year warranty. I mentioned the RMA situation before. It's not uncommon when we have customers or even people coming to the shop for the first time asking how come their PC is broken and when we investigate it is a PSU issue. So having a long-term warranty in place protecting these guys is important for the customer. And 10 years is pretty long for a PSU. These will outlive most of the other components in your setup. So I mentioned earlier, both of these guys are actually rated 80 plus gold, but the 1000 watt PSU is rated Cybernetics Platinum. That means it has an average efficiency of around 88.9%. As we've said in the past about PSUs, 80 plus gold Gold isn't a direct stand-in for quality, but because usually you need quality components to get better efficiency,
efficiency ratings to get higher 80 plus scores or cybernetic scores, then it has become a stand-in for quality. So we tried out these PSUs, they work fine, but that's not really the best test of a PSU. The best test is in the long term. Again, if we sell it to a whole bunch of people, we have a large sample size, we can tell if a PSU is good quality or not. On the surface though, these deep cool PSUs fit the bill. ATX3, check. Fully modular, check. A small personal comment would be I would like more information on the exterior of the PSU. Especially for new builders, it's very easy to research on the PC, buy a PC, and then over time forget what components they put in a computer. And I wish there was just a little bit more information on the sides of the PSU to indicate at least brand and watt capacity. Right now, it's very austere, no problem with that. If you're an enthusiast, you probably won't forget what PSU is in your system. But for more mainstream users, these are usually plug and forget. Pag they install mo na, kalimutan mo na. Then three years down the line, when you're thinking, does my PSU have enough capacity for that new GPU I want to buy? Don, nakalimutan na, medyo mahirap to research. Ano ba nabili kong PSU? All of that can be avoided if, you know, with a little bit of information on the side, it's easier to tell at a glance, even through a PSU shroud, what the basic information of the PSU is. But that's nitpicking really. They did well in our tests, but the real test is if we are able to see a large sample size and see the returns to that sample size. But based on our experience with Deepcool PSUs, we have high hopes for these guys. Usually, they are very good performers at a very good price. That's what attracted us to the DQ model, which we talked about at the start of the video. And hopefully these guys will perform just as well. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.